I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on inequalities where we will learn about fractions. So the question here is which of the following inequality is true? Four options are given to you. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now we have five of these. One of them is true. To get to the answer first step should be write as improper fractions, right? So the first one here is 1 times 2, 1 times 3 plus 2, which is 3 plus 2 is 5. So we have 5 over 3 and we are given less than 5 over 4. So, so this is the very first one. Now, you know this is false since Five portions, when we break down into three, one third of each, has to be greater, right? Anyway, first step, let's write down in improper fractions. This is already improper fractions, so, so we'll just keep it like this. We'll also keep this as such, not a problem. So improper fraction is mainly for the mixed numbers. So basically what I'm saying here is, right, mixed numbers to improper fractions. So basically it will work on only these two. How to write it? 1 times 5 is 5 and then when you add 3 you get 8 so it becomes 8 over 5. Okay. So that is how you write them as improper fractions. Now the second step to check is cross multiply. So cross multiply means you times these numbers, right? So you time this by that and, and times 3 by 5. So when you do 4 times 5, you get 20, right? And when you do 3 times 5, you get 15. The sign is this, right? So we know this is 15 is bigger. So this is false. Do you see that? So cross multiply. 7 times 3 is 21. You have this. 5 times 4 is 20. We know this is also false. 20 is not greater than 21. Here if you multiply, you get 8 is greater than 3 times 3, which is 9. It is false. If you multiply 4 and 8, you get 32. The sign is like this. 5 times 7 is 35, and that is true. So option D is the right option. You got the idea, right? So, so cross multiplying helps to get immediate answer. So in fractions, if you have to solve for inequalities, in that case, cross multiply and check, right? So we have added this step of writing mixed numbers to improper at times you may need it, but not always, correct? So I hope that helps. Now feel free to write your comments and share your views for watching and all the best.